Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mark back in the workshop on Mark's Aquatics. A very good day to you. Anyway, Zenzeal have been in touch with me. Now, they want me to do a little review on this little breeder box that they've got here, this little isolation box. Okay, and they sent me it and they asked me to do a review. So, I think what we should do is get it out of the box and we should have a quick little look at what is in the box, okay? We've got a nice little acrylic there, nice little preformed acrylic box and it also comes with three pipettes as well which is going to be handy for um, for feeding the fry later on so we can put those guys down there all right let's get this little thing out the box now I do like these little small designs because at the end of the day you do you don't really want it but this is more for like platies guppies live bearers and not for really for egg scatterers so what we've got We've got two little tubes that run down here inside there like that. Now what they do is, this is made on two levels. I'll just remove these suckers. The suckers go on either side. Just twist them down into those grooves. I always find that's the best way to do it. Just give it a light twist and they'll just go straight down and then we can suck it straight onto the side, okay? Brilliant stuff. Now there's two little lift tubes in here as well and what they do is as you drop that into the water air will collect in these little chambers so it will actually float on the top of the water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up in this shrimp tank because I've got a female guppy which I'm going to put in there just to show you how to put them in and what actually happens okay. The next thing you've got two chambers as well if you slowly press the sides in that comes apart okay and very easily snaps back together again. We've got lots of nice holes all the way around which have been nicely cut in, nice and smooth, no sharp edges and um, and it's going to be a nice little box to put your little guppies in. We, next we've got the little chamber that drops down into, the, into that next level there, you see? You can see on the, there's two little cutouts, one here and one there which go around those little air chambers just when it floats and that just seats in place there okay nice and secure in there and it also comes with a little lid as well because we don't want the lid you don't want these little fish leaping out and going onto the floor so there's a little lid which clips in there as well with two little ventilation holes in the top and also for you to get your fingers in so you can lift it back out as well. So then what happens basically is that you put your guppy into this top chamber when it's under the water and these little funnels here have a very very small slit in the bottom as you can see very small slip now it's funneled down so as soon as she drops those babies okay they're gonna go down there and they're going to go through that slit and they're going to end up in this little chamber here now they're going to swim up but the odds of them getting back through that little crack there are actually quite quite slim they're not really going to fit through there as is with these little slides on the side they've been cut very very thin and i'd be very surprised if a guppy fry will get through there very very narrow indeed Anyway, so that's the thing. This is how it works. She's up here. The babies drop through into the bottom there. They can't get back up and she can't feed on them. Then she won't eat them by accident because as soon as guppies have babies, they, are, they will prey upon them if they come across them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this up, okay, in the tank. We're going to put it in this way. If you just slowly lower it into the tank, it'll slowly fill with water all by itself and then you can suck it to the side and then that just locks into place you might get a couple of little air bubbles in there but not to worry and then basically it will just sit in place inside your tank like that now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my into my shrimp room 
and I'm going to grab a guppy and then we're going to put her in there and I'll give you a little zoom in on what's going on okay right guys so I've gone and got the uh, the female out now so I'm going to very very gently cup her with my hand and put her into the breeding trap now you can see now she's dropped down into one of those little she's going to stress for a little bit this is probably this is very common for any fish when it goes into something new it's going to want to go through into the bottom of the tank somewhere to hide so as soon as you put them in they're going to be a little bit on the scatty side but they'll soon calm down and um, and then probably start going around the top now what you can do if you like if you've got a bit of um, a bit of plant or anything like that I've got actually got some over here I'll just grab some right I've got a bit of Monte Carlo there now so I'm just going to pop that in the top and that will float on the surface now this tank that I built a while ago it's got quite a high top on it so there is probably another there's the same again above so she may disappear but she's heavily gravid and I don't think it's going to be too too long before she has the babies now when you do put them in these little these little isolator boxes you don't want them moving around too much people say I've heard them say they're small I don't think they're too small but they're designed to do a job and that's to hold a fish in situ there so as soon as she's facing this way or that way those babies are going to drop down one of those shoots into the bottom okay and there they're going to be stored you could actually put a little bit of plant life in the bottom as well which is going to help you may very well get the odd one go back through but it's it's highly unlikely that they're going to she's going to take a while to settle in what i'm going to do now is i'm going to leave this now overnight and i'm going to come back in the morning and i hopefully she'll um she'll have given some birth should have give, given birth to them so um i'll get back to you in a second when we've had a bit of time lapse and if i can catch her in the act i will but if not hopefully there'll be some babies there in the morning well there you go guys that little zenzeal box little isolation box has worked absolutely fantastic you can see now she's panting away still still releasing those babies and they've gone down through that funnel into that bottom capture chamber where they're all nice and safe and that's where they're going to stay until she's finished and then we can put her back into the main aquarium if you like you can feed the babies in your main aquarium with the pipettes that were supplied with it you can just put some baby brine shrimp in there or as with guppies some crushed flake food and just sprinkle that on the surface remove that piece there once she's out take that out and then those little babies will come to the surface then and feed nicely away and put on a bit of weight before you can put them back into your main aquarium fantastic little bit of kit hardly cost anything to buy them and to make something like that is quite difficult so if i was you and you're into your breeding and you want to save as many fry as you can go and grab one of these um, little isolation boxes i'm going to put a uh, link in the description below where you can pick them up from from amazon and different places like that so go and check them out show the guys some love anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video if you're gonna breed anything guys these are really super little isolation boxes they really are zenzeal have done me proud they've sent me lots of other stuff as well um, a big box of stuff which i'm going to be doing giveaways with and um we'll uh, look at that in the next video anyway guys you're all stars love you loads thanks for tuning into this little video go and show zenzeal some love and uh, as always check it out and i'll see you next time bye for now Just me and my guitar.